Check out the instructor's comments at the end of this video for more info. Okay. We're going to do an Every Mechanics Must Know video here. And uh, I can't tell you how much this, this it drives me crazy. And uh, this also is going to be my thought of the day. When we, when we work on the craft of mechanics, there's just some things that we want to ingrain in what we do, okay? When, when this carburetor was taken apart, the parts were put in in the wrong order. And it's so common and it's so unnecessary. And what I'm going to demonstrate here real quickly is these pieces that mount the accelerator pump cam to the carburetor so that when we open this, it'll uh, operate the accelerator pump. And it, it's not real hard. You look at the pieces here and you see you got a shoulder bolt, you got a plastic collar, a plastic washer, a lock washer, and a flat washer. Well, how he took it apart was like this, okay? And then we've got, let me put this on here. This was built up this direction, and then this plastic piece was behind, and so on. And it's just not right. It's just not the way that this is supposed to be put together. And people say, well, that's the way I took it apart. Doesn't matter. You guys, listen to me on this. Use your microfiches. Use your service manuals. This is the page right out of the factory service manual for this vehicle that tells us exactly how to do it. Honda put it that way together for a reason. I think that we should duplicate that. What you'll see here in these pieces is the order. So what I like to do is I like to lay them out here on the table. I've got a bolt. I've got my plastic washer. I have my plastic bushing. I have my metal washer and then I have my lock washer. Now think about that. How hard is that now to go ahead and build that baby up? You guys can't answer. Um, no, it's, it's not hard. hard. Not very hard, is it? Okay. No. And actually, I, I did want to show because this will do it. Here's what people will do wrong: is if they put the washer on first and then put this on. Do you see how it makes it too thick? And then there's not a washer on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not all the way through. And if I tighten that bolt down, I'm going to make it where this locks up and then the accelerator pump won't work at all. I'm going to have this all the way back on the bike and then I'm going to be hating, uh, I'm going to be hating it, aren't I? So I just want to build this up like so. I'm going to go ahead and get this together. I'm going to look to see it has a lock washer. So when, a split ring washer, wouldn't you guess that there's probably no Loctite on this? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to take and set this in here loose like so. And here's the other thing, every mechanic should know, not only use your parts fish, but just get this in here where it's, like I said, just a loose fit, okay? And then what I wanna do is test my work. I wanna make sure that as I move this, that it will operate on its own. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, if things are good here, do you see where then I can go ahead and go forward? After I tighten the bolt fully, move your hand please. After I tighten the bolt fully, I'm gonna snug that up and now I'm gonna check my work and make sure there's no binding. If that was binding, wouldn't I think that my order's wrong or I goofed something up? But listen to me, I'm gonna summarize this. Cannot stress this enough. I shouldn't have to guess. I shouldn't have to go, you, you guys, you're, you're working way too hard. You're, you're absolutely thinking too much on simple mechanics. And here's the reality of it. If you're working on your garage, go ahead and think. Go ahead and think all you want. But when you're working on the clock and you're trying to figure out why can't I hit flat rate, why can't I get things done, it's because you're skipping simple details and not digging into, I don't want to have to think this hard about about one, two, three, four, five little pieces. I don't want to think that hard. You know what I want to have to think hard on? Why do I not have power to this component? Why did this piston seize up? Why are, you know, the hard stuff, the stuff where you have to be a technician, right? You have to be a doctor of mechanics and figure this stuff out. Invest your time in those things. Use these simple techniques and make your life wrench in a heck of a lot easier.